Welcome to the Film Lab's Anatomy of a Film Set series here on the Substream.com. You are currently watching part four of four. Over the course of this video series, we've taken a look at the different departments within a film crew and how they function on set during the production of a film. We've learned how the production department launches the project and keeps the film shoot running. We've looked at the various talented artists and designers that bring the world of the film to life. And we've seen how the technical personnel actually craft the final film seen by audiences. That's you. But even still, there are other key members of a film crew that cannot be classified so easily. And depending on the film, there are entire departments with special skills that are only called on when needed. We call these people the specialists. Often overlooked, but integral to the functioning of a film set just the same. In many cases, the first assistant director has much more experience working on a film set than the director, and as such, they are essentially hired to be the director's number one advisor, their right-hand man or woman. This also means that when certain unusual elements are needed for a particular scene, it's often the first AD that will oversee things. They make sure that things continue to fall in line with what the director is after, while considering the safety of the entire crew. For example, many films call for animals, in which case an animal wrangler is hired to obtain, train, and guide the performance of any animals needed for filming. While certainly not uncommon, animals are not usually present on set, so the first AD and the animal wrangler work out a safe and efficient plan for filming the animals, allowing the director to concentrate on whether or not the performance is to their liking. Additionally, the production of some films require practical and potentially dangerous special effects like fire or breaking glass. The first AD double checks with the special effects coordinator to make sure that any effects are performed safely and efficiently. The effects coordinator usually has a team of highly skilled special effects technicians that actually perform the effects and help the actors with any safety instructions. In the case of a performer being required to do something that might hurt them, the first AD looks to a stunt coordinator to choreograph any special maneuvers for the actors such as simulated combat or falling to the ground. But sometimes, the stunt itself is far too dangerous for a regular actor to perform, which is why the stunt coordinator will bring in specially trained stunt performers. These are the actors that you will often see on screen tumbling down a flight of stairs or engulfed in flames. Meanwhile, the production department, always thinking ahead, might see a need for promotional material that can be used to help distribute the film after completion. An important element used to promote any film is photography, photographs, both of the action on camera as well as behind the scenes. That's why the producer hires a stills photographer to come to the set to specifically document the shooting, capturing any single snapshots that might make the film appealing to potential distributors and eventually moviegoers. When shooting is underway, things can get very, very complicated, and it can be hard to keep track of the visual continuity from shot to shot, especially since most films are shot out of sequence. This is why the production department dispatches a script supervisor to help the director and first AD keep track of things like whether or not the actors were sitting or standing at the end of the previous shot, what hand they held their martini in. Overlooking such small details could lead to embarrassing continuity mistakes that make the film look unprofessional, so script supervisor's notes can prove to be very valuable. And finally, arguably the most important person on any film set, small or large, we have the craft service personnel. There are dozens upon dozens of potential crew members on set, all of whom are standing on their feet, working hard for over 12 hours every day. And each film might also have dozens upon dozens of performers as well. So that's a lot of potentially grumpy people stuck together for long stretches of time. It might sound simplistic, but it is actually quite true that the best and easiest way to keep people calm and happy is to feed them, and feed them well. The first AD knows this, which is why they are often concerned with having the craft offerings be plentiful and accessible in order to keep the stress levels of all personnel at a manageable low. In addition to these specialists, 
there could be literally dozens more that are only called upon when their specific talents are required for a film shoot. And while none of these specialists are directly involved with the production of the actual film, they are in fact absolutely necessary in order for things to run smoothly on set, which is all that the first AD could ever ask for. All in all, every single facet of film production is important to the whole. Each part of the anatomy of a film set has its own special function, contributing to the whole while working in tandem with other specific parts in order to create something singular, something with a complexity that often gets taken for granted by the average filmgoer. In an industry as exclusive and seemingly impenetrable as professional film production, it often helps to understand the inner workings of all the hard-working departmental personnel involved. Hopefully, this video series has helped you gain perspective on the bigger picture and has perhaps piqued your interest in an on-set department that you might have previously been unaware of. Thank you very much for watching our Anatomy of a Film Set series. Please feel free to download the entire Anatomy of a Film Set flowchart in a handy desktop wallpaper available in the substream.com.